Okay, let's do it. <coughs> CSS battle <coughs> for November 7th. Oh, look at that. <coughs> Looks relatively straightforward, doesn't it? I think this one is uh, all background of body. So even though <coughs> I'm starting with a blank template with my paragraph tab, I thought I'll remove that. <coughs> and our first step is to create this block and only this block. <coughs> so what is that? That is a radial gradient at 50%. 100%. <coughs> I believe it's a circle and it is blue with a lighter blue behind it. <coughs> so you see that background and it's all fuzzy because there's no numbers. So that's that's our thing. So the first thing I'd like to do is I would like to, I think it's like 100 over and like 50 down and we'll call it 100 pixels by 100 pixels and do no repeat so that is our shape that is the correct shape but it's just not in the right place so we are going to adjust our numbers uh, so a little further over and 30 over 85 down and what's the height? The height is uh, no that's the width that I was working on there sorry my name spoke and 130 is the height and then put that 100 pixels something like that nope uh, 70 pixels so the fact that that's all black means that we're dead on so that's good and then if i do repeat y those are our shapes not bad so now we have this problem because we've got two of these uh we have to decide do we do that background on an element or on the body so we're gonna we're gonna be obliged to cover this and then we're gonna need backgrounds anyway so possibly what we want and then is that element we want an element uh, and we're gonna do this background on the element and that element is going to be how tall it will be I don't know 200 tall something like that uh, and rather than a hundred and 30 over 85 down, it'll just be 0 and 85 down uh, to get the correct thing. So it is 0, and then this is on the P tag. And to do that, we need a width of start with we'll do a width I believe that what we need to do is set that in the margins of the body because we're going to need a body anyway uh, 140 and then I think it's like height of 200 something like that. I actually don't know what the height is uh, oh and I have put my uh, rules in the right wrong place so let's do that so uh, we need a body with a margin of zero and like 60, 80. Oh, actually, we know the number, don't we? 140. No, uh, one, what do we say it was? 130. And then this ends up being dead on for. Uh, so we don't need the width anymore because our we constrained by. Height to 15 is our height. So those are the tricky bits. Now 
We just need a linear gradient, back row, background. Uh, we have two choices here. We want, huh? Huh? And huh? So the light blue, the dark blue, and the light blue. And now let's let's try to do percentages. I'm kind of in a rush here because I get to there. Uh, 40, 0, 70 percent. Don't forget the comma. And then 0. That's uh, close. So what are these numbers? Uh, 30, 28, 27, 28, 29. So that's a bad sign. That means we probably can't use pixels. 75 pixels, no. Uh, 70 pixels, no. 80 pixels, 80 pixels. And then we need, uh, what, 150 pixels? 200 pixels. 210 pixels, 215 pixels. That appears to be the correct solution. Now, the light blue that we've got in the uh, paragraph element, we can use transparent for because it's going to look through. Uh, or, no, that's not true. Um, we need it because we're covering dark blue as well. So, if so, the thing I just said was wrong. So, if I do transparent, <laughs> right, that doesn't work doesn't work the same way. So we do need it, unfortunately. And that's that's fine. Uh, we can live with that. Are there other optimizations we can make? Mm, maybe not. I'm going to do my standard new replacement, which gives us a few things. And then Aminify. Um, Aminify doesn't handle these uh, little nuances. But I believe that gets us 100% and a pretty good score. And we'll stop there. There it is. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.